a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Dominic Raab Dominic Rennie Raab is a British Conservative Party politician who is Secretary of State for exiting the European Union. Raab was elected as Member of Parliament for Isha and Walden in 2010. He was appointed Parliamentary Under Secretary of State at the Ministry of Justice on 12 May 2015. In Theresa May's first cabinet reshuffle a year later, he returned to the back benches. Following the 2017 general election, Raab was appointed Minister of State for Courts and Justice. In January 2018, Theresa May reshuffled the cabinet and Raab moved to the Ministry for Housing, Communities, and Local Government. In July 2018, Raab was appointed Brexit Secretary by Prime Minister Theresa May following David Davis' resignation. Origins Raab grew up in Gerrard's Cross, Buckinghamshire, the son of a Czech-born Jewish father who came to Britain in 1938 aged six, as a refugee from the Nazis. Through his mother's influence he was brought up in the Church of England. Career Raab attended Dr. Chaloner's Grammar School in Amersham before Lady Margaret Hall, Oxford, where he read law, and won the Clive Parry Prize for International Law. After graduating, he gained a master's degree at Jesus College, Cambridge. Raab was initially a solicitor at Linklater's in London. He spent the summer of 1998 at Bursey at University near Amala where he worked for one of the principal Palestinian negotiators of the Oslo Peace Accords, assessing World Bank projects on the West Bank. In 2000, Raab joined the Foreign Office, covering a range of briefs including leading a team at the British Embassy in The Hague, dedicated to bringing war criminals to justice. After returning to London, he advised on the Arab-Israeli conflict, the European Union, and Gibraltar. From 2006 to 2010, Raab worked in Parliament as Chief of Staff to Shadow Home Secretary David Davis, and to Shadow Secretary of State for Justice Dominic Grieve. Cameron Clegg Coalition, 2010-2015 Raab was elected to Parliament to represent Isha and Walton in Surrey, a safe Conservative seat, at the 2010 election with a total of 32,134 votes. Raab gained a majority of 18,593 over his nearest rival. Raab lives in and commutes from Thamesditton in his constituency. Since the election, he has campaigned for fairer funding for local services in Elmbridge, stronger local democracy in the running of community hospitals in Cobham, Walton and Milsey, in favour of more visible and responsive policing and against the construction of an M25 service station at Downside. In the House of Commons, he spoke in support of the coalition government's plans to cut the budget deficit, expand academy schools, repeal ID cards and enact a freedom bill. He criticised the government for opting into the EU directive on a European investigation order, arguing it would strain operational policing resources and dilute safeguards protecting British citizens from misuse of personal data and guaranteeing a fair trial. In July 2010, he secured a review of positive discrimination rules being applied to foreign office work experience schemes, having been contacted by a constituent who had been rejected from the scheme for failing to meet the social criteria. The two programs at the organization barred white males from applying other than those from low-income backgrounds. Raab argued they reintroduced discrimination via the back door. The MP welcomed the review, blaming the situation on the previous Labour government. He stated, positive discrimination is wrong in the same way as negative discrimination. It means people are thinking in terms of social criteria, and it is anti-meritocratic. He came to media attention in August 2010 after requesting that the pressure group 38 degrees remove his parliamentary email address from their website, arguing that lobby groups sending or coordinating clone emails designed to deluge MPs' inboxes detracted from their ability to correspond with constituents and help those in real need. 38 degrees said that the email address is paid for by taxpayers' money and is in the public domain, thus they have every right to host it on their website and use it for campaigning. Raab won, Newcomer of the Year, for 2011 at the Spectator magazine's Parliamentary Awards. Raab has participated in debates on giving prisoners the vote and extradition. In April 2011, 
He had also presented an ultimately unsuccessful 10-minute rule bill proposing that emergency service and transport unions should be required by law to ensure that strike votes receive 50% support of union members. Raab argued that reform was needed to prevent militant union bosses, holding the hard-working majority, to ransom. On 7 March 2012, Raab opened a debate in the House of Commons on Sergei Magnitsky and impunity for gross human rights abuses, calling on the UK government to bring forward legislative proposals that would allow it to impose visa bans and asset freezes on state officials responsible for gross human rights abuses against individuals. The motion was supported by three former foreign secretaries and two former foreign ministers and had cross-party support and was passed unanimously by MPs. Libel case On 30 January 2011, the Mail on Sunday published an article alleging Raab, in his previous role as Chief of Staff to David Davis in 2007, had paid a female employee £20,000 in an out-of-court settlement as part of a confidentiality agreement to drop a claim of workplace bullying. Raab responded by stating, This is a smear and any insinuation that I have behaved improperly is false and malicious. He subsequently sued the newspaper for libel. The Mail on Sunday's publisher Associated Newspapers' attempt to stop the action was denied by the High Court in December 2011. During these proceedings, it was disclosed that the employee had taken a claim against Raab to an employment tribunal where it was settled with a compromise agreement which included monetary compensation and a confidentiality clause for both parties. The newspaper on 18 March 2012 issued an apology, stating, We accept that our allegations were unfounded and we apologize to Mr. Raab for the damage, embarrassment, and offense caused. It also paid compensation according to Raab as part of an out-of-court settlement. Prisoners' Rights on 10 February 2011, Raab gave the winding up speech in the debate on whether to give prisoners the vote, arguing that freedom entails responsibility, and that elected lawmakers in the House of Commons rather than unaccountable judges in Strasbourg should decide the matter. On the 22nd of June 2011, the Joint Committee on Human Rights published a report on the human rights implications of British extradition. As a member of the JCHR, Raab proposed that the committee look into the issue of fast-track extradition of British citizens following several instances of miscarriages of justice. In an article for The Times, Raab argued that more needed to be done to protect British citizens subject to European arrest warrants. The JCHR have called for safeguards to ensure warrants are not issued for minor offences, and when there is minimal evidence and checks to prevent extradition for investigation rather than prosecution. On 24 November 2011, Raab led a debate in the House of Commons calling for extradition reform. His motion had cross-party support and was backed by Gary McKinnon's mother, Janice Sharp. On 30 January 2014, Raab proposed an amendment to the immigration bill to deport all prisoners given a sentence of a year or more. It was defeated, but allowed 99 members to voice that change was necessary to prevent immigrants convicted of crimes from using the ECHR as support to remain in the UK. Cameron Ministry, 2015-2016 In the 2015 general election on 7 May, Raab retained his Isha and Walton seat with a majority of 28,000 votes over his nearest rival. Raab was appointed Parliamentary Under Secretary of State at the Ministry of Justice under Michael Gove on 12 May 2015, with responsibility for human rights questions. In September 2015, in this capacity, he addressed representatives of the 46 other member states of the Council of Europe on the question of the UK's blanket ban on prisoner voting. The Miller Case on 3 November 2016, and in response to the decision of the High Court in RV Secretary of State for exiting the European Union on whether Her Majesty's Government was entitled to notify an intention to leave the European Union under Article 50 of the Treaty on European Union without a vote in Parliament, Raab stated that in the 2016 EU membership referendum, the British people gave a clear mandate for the UK Government to leave the EU and take back control of our borders, laws, money and trade. It is disappointing that today the court has chosen to ignore their decision.
He went on to state that the decision was, a plain attempt to block Brexit by people who were out of touch with the country and refused to accept the result. However, the vote to leave the EU was clear, and they should not seek to obstruct it. EU Referendum Campaign Raab was an active campaigner in the EU referendum, advocating that Britain should leave the European Union. He said in an interview that it would be better for the British economy to leave. We'll be better off if we're freed up to trade more energetically with the growth markets like Latin America and Asia. I think it will be good for job creation and also cut prices in the stores. He also argued that there was too much waste and corruption in the EU. Westminster Dossier in late October 2017, a dossier listing allegations of a mainly sexual nature against several dozen Conservative MPs made internally by party researchers was circulated at Westminster and amongst journalists. Raab wrote on his website at the beginning of November that his entry made a false accusation of an injunction for inappropriate behaviour with a woman. He commented, I have never been served with any injunction for anything, nor have I ever sought one. It was, false and malicious, to make any insinuation that I have engaged in anything resembling sexual harassment, sexually abusive behavior or lewd remarks. He believed the dossier itself was a form of harassment and intimidation. Rob said he was taking legal advice. Unpaid Westminster Internship Advertisement In February 2018, Rob advertised for an unpaid intern just ahead of a Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy publication, responding to the Taylor Review on Insecure Work. The base report criticized, exploitative unpaid internships, saying, an employer cannot avoid paying someone the minimum wage simply by calling them an intern or saying that they are doing an internship. Impact of Immigration on Housing Market In April 2018, Raab said in an interview that immigration had put house prices up by something like 20% over the past 25 years. The UK Statistics Authority asked Raab to publish the evidence for his claim. A document published by the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government shows that the finding was based on an out-of-date model that had never been intended for this kind of analysis. Raab defended the model and said, I did indeed say care was needed with the data, and I was right that immigration put average prices up by 20%. We need a balanced approach. Civil Liberties and Justice In 2009, Raab published his first book, The Assault on Liberty What Went Wrong with Rights. In October 2010, he published Fight Terror, Defend Freedom, a pamphlet on a Home Office counter-terrorism review. In January 2011, Raab wrote an article on the use of control orders in counter-terrorism cases in which he contended that they are ineffective and should be scrapped with a greater focus on prosecutions. Raab published a pamphlet with the think tank Kiewitas entitled Strasbourg in the dock in April 2011. The pamphlet follows Parliament's recent rejection of a European Court of Human Rights ruling that at least some prisoners should have the right to vote. Raab argues that unelected judges have overstepped the mark in relation to the Hearst case although the Strasbourg judges are elected by the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. Raab contends that many of the judges are lacking in experience and as a result, are undermining the credibility and value of the court. Raab makes a range of proposals to strengthen the authority of Britain's Supreme Court, give elected lawmakers the last word on creation of new rights and reform of the Strasbourg court. In July 2011, Raab called for reform of the UK Borders Act 2007 which currently allows foreign criminals to avoid deportation by claiming a right to family life, under Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights. He proposed that the reference to the Human Rights Act be removed. He argues this could be done in a way that ensures foreign criminals could only avoid deportation if there is a serious risk, they will be tortured on their return. Equality, Meritocracy and Positive Discrimination On 30 January 2011, he wrote a comment piece for the Sunday Times on the implementation of the Equality Act. Raab argued for a meritocratic approach against positive discrimination and highlighted the lower standard of human rights protections in extradition cases compared to deportation cases. In an article in January 2011 on the Politics Home website, Raab argued in favor of transferable paternity leave and against the equality bandwagon, 
pitting men and women against each other. He argued in favor of a consistent approach to sexism against men, and women commenting that some feminists were now amongst the most obnoxious bigots, and it was sexist to blame men for the recession. Raab highlighted the wide range of sex discrimination faced by males including anti-male discrimination in rights of maternity slash paternity leave, young boys being educationally disadvantaged compared to girls, and how divorced or separated fathers are systematically ignored by the courts. Raab stated, from the cradle to the grave, men are getting a raw deal. Men work longer hours, die earlier, but retire later than women, noting that the pensions inequalities were still not going to be rectified for another seven years. He was subsequently interviewed on the piece by the London Evening Standard and BBC Radio 4. Theresa May, who was Minister for Women and Equalities at the time, criticized Raab's obnoxious bigots comment, but agreed with his suggestions on paternity leave and ending gender warfare. Her remarks took place during a debate on employment law in the Commons. Raab's remarks were criticized by some Labour MPs, including Harriet Harman and Nia Griffith, who said Raab should stop being so self-pitying. The reality is that women with very good qualifications time and time again do not get the top jobs and opportunities. However, Raab stood by his comments in a comment piece for The Telegraph, highlighting the various statements Harman had made about men, contrasting them with similar comments about women by the likes of Andy Gray. Raab also noted he had received an overwhelmingly positive reaction to his comments from both men and women. In July 2012, Raab published a pamphlet with the Center for Policy Studies entitled Unleashing the British Underdog, 10 Bets on the Little Guy. In the report, Raab outlines 10 policies to improve social mobility and provide opportunities for those from non-traditional backgrounds to succeed. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?